Let's continue adding more features in PowerPoint. Now we are going to look at adding buttons in PowerPoint. I am at the first slide here. I want to add a button such that when a person is at this first slide, when he clicks a button, it can take this person to the last slide. And this is how we do it. So I go to insert shapes. I look for any shape I want. Let me use this circle here. And I'm going to design it the way I want. Just designing it any how I want. And I'm going to add a text here by right clicking and say text. Then I'm going to put last slide. Yes, I'm going to make this board. Let me make it bigger. Okay, so I'm creating, but at the moment this one has no impact. So if, if I run my slide show and I click on it, it will not make any sense. But now I want to give it some sense such that when our user clicks on this, is automatically taken to the slide, is automatically taken to the last slide. Let me remove this. Okay. So I'm going to select this button which I have created. Now to make this button active, I select it, I go to insert, and I insert, I have action. So I click on action, then I have two options, mouse click and mouse over. I'm going to leave it at mouse click. So mouse click, I'm going to choose hyperlink to, then I'm going to select where I want to link it to. So I want to link it to last slide. So I click last slide, then I'll click OK. So now if I go back and run my slide show, the moment I click here, now you see the hand shows it is a button now. So the moment I click on it, it will take me straight away to the last slide. Now I'm going to put here another button, which is going to take me to the first slide. Okay, so when I'm on the last slide here, let me create another button. I can use any shape I want. Let me, let me use that. So I create, I can format it anyhow I want. Just format it anyhow you want. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose edit text. So I'm going to put a first slide. So I want when my users click this button, they are taken to the first slide. So now I'm going to add the action to it. I'll select a button, then come to insert, action. So under action, this time I'm going to use the mouse hover. So when I use mouse hover, then I'm going to say, I parent to, I want it to be to, when I hover mouse over, I want it to go to a first slide. So first slide, then okay. Okay, let's run our show again from the beginning. So when I click on this button, last slide, it is going to take me to the last slide. But when I hover my mouse to this, it will take me to the first slide. So last slide, when I hover to the button, it takes me to the first slide. 
So that's how we add buttons in PowerPoint. Let's look also at how we add links. I want to add a link to this, what is a computer, such that when, when a user clicks on this, it opens a web page. Oh, let me add here, view my YouTube channel. So I'm going to put here, view my YouTube channel, and I want when a person clicks here, is direct taken to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to select that statement, and I'll go to insert, and I insert, I'll go to link. So this is where I'm going to put the link, where I want that person to go. So I'll put the link, I want a person to go there and I click OK. So as you see now, it has turned into a blue link and it's underlined. So let's run the slide and we see how it works. So when I go to slideshow, from the beginning, my buttons are still there, that is the last one. When I hover, I go to the first one. Okay, but now I'm not going to use the buttons, I'm just using the mouse so that I get where I want to go. Okay, so this is what we put. Now when my user points at this, it shows the link to the YouTube channel. So the moment a user clicks on it, it will take the user straight away to the YouTube video. Okay, so that's how we add links and that's how we add buttons. So I want you to practice creating buttons using the action. Remember, we begin by putting a shape. In that shape, we edit it. After editing it, we can use the edit features here to edit a shape to make it look the way you want it to. You have so many you can editing features you can use to make it look the way you want. And after you add text, the next step is to add text. After adding text, you select it, then you come back to insert, then the action button will be activated. Then under action, you have different actions to choose from. Hyperlink, you select an action, or you can run a program you want it to run. Say from your computer, you can browse the comp program, or you can play a sound, you may want it to. If you have maybe a sound you want it to play, you can also use the mouse over. Mouse over. So keep practicing these two. Also, we have seen the link. You select a statement you want, then you come to insert, then you have the link. Then here you type the link you want to link it to, or you may also want to link it to inside your PowerPoint, or you can link it to any document in your work. Okay, let's meet in the next video as we add more features of PowerPoint.